In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to create a Twitter background in Photoshop. So I have my file open here, and it should be 600 pixels wide by 1200 pixels high. It can be different sizes than that, but that's uh, what Twitter has optimized image size to be. So uh, first of all, um, we know that our uh, header and, and feed is going to cover up most of the Twitter background. So we're going to want to keep any content that uh, we want our viewers to see to be on the left hand side here. And I happen to know that uh, it should be about 200 pixels wide on the left side column or smaller. Uh, so that way you know that it's going to show up. So first uh, I've got the unit set up in inches so I'm just going to go up and I'm going to change that to uh, to pixels, so I'm going to go to edit and preferences, units and rulers, so rulers, I'm going to switch that to pixels, click OK, and then I'm going to drag a guideline right over to 200, and that is not very big. Uh, but we're going to make it work. So what I'm going to do is I, I have kind of a general theme that I've been using um, on my online profiles and uh, and everything I've been creating so I'm going to pull some art from my YouTube channel uh, template so here's that so I'm going to I would just want to select all these layers so I've got the bottom layer actually there we go I'm just going to select all of them and drag, and I'm just going to pop it right into here. Now I could even just leave this, but um, people aren't going to be able to see uh, this text here, not very easily at least. So I'm going to uh, select these, uh, these four layers here. Control T to transform, and I'm going to shrink, shrink it down. Now I don't want it to save video tutorials because um, this is for my Twitter channel, and while I do make video tutorials, I want it to be uh, relevant to my Twitter channel. So I'm going to click in here. And I'm going to change that to social. Make that all caps. Social media and marketing. Okay. Move these down and over. And then I want to adjust this. And then change text size. And you might have to play around with this a bit to figure out what works best for you and for your um, for your Twitter account or any any um, any account you're creating art for. Pop that down a little bit. Give my name some breathing room. I like that little tagline, learn something new, because that's what I'm always trying to do. I always want to learn, learn more. I want to know everything I do. <laughs> it's a bit ambitious, but it's a goal, right? So I'm just going to pop that text down a little bit. Scoot that over, and let's insert a headshot, because why not? Maybe I want that up there. Not too big, but I'm going to 
pop that up there. Select these guys. And my name is already up there. So I can just hide that. And my head's a little cut off, so... There we go. I can pop, maybe I will, uh, use, uh, use that layer, put my, URL in there. I like to date these, just so I know, what is today, the second, <laughs> so I know uh, when I created them, because I don't know about you, but I go through phases where I want to change things, so that's how you do it. Hope you learned a lot from this tutorial. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel, check out my blog at sallyu.com, and have a wonderful day. Thanks for tuning in.